what's up guys welcome to the wix club in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to add a digital clock into your wix website so as you can see i have a live clock that shows me what hour of the day what minutes what second and also the meridian time all right so this is what i'm going to show you how to add in a few moments and before we get started don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the like button for this video you can check out the description for the code to this tutorial and also a preview for this website all right let's begin so here in my editor as you can see i have a text element which is a single text element that i have added to display my time and i have gone ahead to add a few number of text to it now this is just the display that shows to the user the few moments before the time actually begins to show on our website so this is just a preview of what we show for example when i refresh these you can see that that preview actually shows the content of the text the original content of the text before the time begins to show and this is what you should also do if you want to add um, a time to your website in case your website speed is a bit slow or maybe your page doesn't load as fast then this is what you should add or maybe a different text that maybe loading or something else that makes sense to your website all right so let's get started before we dive into the code make sure to turn on your dev mode from right over here as you can see mine is already turned on so you can turn that on to open up your wix code panel so i'm going to expand this for a while just to show you what the code is all about so here in our code you can see that we have a set interval method inside of our already function the set interval method calls a function or evaluates an expression at specific interval in milliseconds. The set interval method will continue calling the function until clear interval is called or the window is closed. Now the reason why we use the set interval is because we want to run this function which as you can see the dg clock here for every one second so the 1000 you see here is 1000 millisecond which is equal to one second so each every one second this code here is going to run and that means that our code is going to be live all right so as you can see from right over here in our function we have two constant constant date and then we have the constant d time date here is actually assigned to the new date method this will get the date or the current date of whatever day we are so right now it's actually sunday the 5th of december and then here we have the dig time which is actually a constant that gets the local time string from our date so whatever date date we are or whatever day we are is going to get the time instead now i'm going to show you how this actually works so we're going to add this to our console to check out how that actually works what date is being displayed so right over here the developer console you can see that for every one second this time is being displayed and it's not just the time but as you can see it's also the day and then the dates and then the time and what we just want to do is just to get the time right and then you can see that it's actually using our local time so this will also work for you wherever you are in the world and for wherever your users may actually be so back here into our code i want to show you how the time also displays since we want to display only the time then i want to go ahead to display just the time in our console so we can comment this out and then display only the time for every one second now right here you can see that our time actually displays for every second and as you can see the second actually increases and you can see this hour we have the minute and then the uh, the second so this code will continue to run for every one second forever it's going to keep increasing it's going to continue getting the current hour the current minute and the current time and also it's going to continue getting what meridian we are currently on so back into the code what i did next is to actually assign this dig time or dig time to the text element on our website so what we're going to do here is to add our text element which is here and it's called digital clock the id is called digital clock so when we expand our code panel you can see from here that the id is called digital clock so you're going to copy that into this section and then the text and the text is going to be displaying our to local time string so this is a method that has been assigned to the new date method and it's going to display only the time all right so this is just all what the tutorial is all about you can go ahead to copy this code the link is right there in the description below don't forget to check it out and you can also go ahead to check out my website it's called wixgenius.com don't forget to check out the tutorial section and also the playground you can see amazing features right there all right thank you very much i hope you did enjoy this tutorial let me know in the comment section if you're going to make use of this code 
code and if you need any assistance i'll be right there to respond to your comments all right thank you very much and see you in the next tutorial